guys and welcome back to my channel today i've got another update for my project 10 pen for you guys and i've got some really nice progress to show you i'm really really happy about all of this progress um let's take a look so this is where i am with my palette at the moment and as you can probably see i've got some really nice shining little pieces of pan in multiple shades um and actually really really surprising to myself and probably to most of you guys as well the very first color i hit pan in was stiletto um it's the black and it's a color that before i would barely use but it was the first one i hit pan on of course i'm using that as an eyeliner so i'm really focusing on one little point of it instead of kind of swirling my brush around or anything so it's not too big of a surprise when you think about that but i was definitely using a lot more of glamazon for example because that was the shade i was using on my eyelid and as you can see i've hit pan on that one as well um but yeah because i was that using that one all over my eyelid i was expecting to hit pan on this one way sooner than on that one but i hit pan on this one first and then like one or two days later i hit pan on glamazon um as you can see, I've also hit pan on Teddy Bear over here, um, which is the color that I'm using in my crease most of the days. And I have hit pan on In The Buff, which is the color I was focusing on this month um, as my brow bone highlight, basically. So I've been focusing on it for one month and this is the result that I got, which is pretty nice. And I was kind of expecting that one would go pretty quickly once I started using it that way. So yeah, those four new pans make me really excited. Um, other colors that I've been using, I've been using the dark purple at the bottom here kind of to darken up my outer V sometimes. And still it has a little dip, but I've used it so much more than you can actually see in here, which I have no idea why there is so little progress showing in here because it is relatively powdery. But yeah, that happens. Then, since I hit pan on Glamazon, I've been focusing mostly on Boy Toy as my eyelid color. It's also what I have on my eyelids today. Um, to kind of give you an idea about what look I have on today, I've got Boy Toy on my eyelid. I've got this dark purplish, brownish color in my outer V and I've got a teddy bear in my crease. And then, of course, I'm using stiletto as an eyeliner as well. So. That is the look that I've been doing quite a bit lately, um, but I've also been using this green tealish color a little bit um, in combination with Glamazon. So then I would be using Glamazon on the lid, be using this kind of on the outer part of my lid, but really sheared out in a way. It is not too pigmented, especially when you apply it with a fluffy brush. It actually turns out like kind of a sheer greenish layer on top of the other shadows. And then I was using Teddy Bear in the crease. And that gives a pretty nice and neutral look, but just with a little hint of teal. I've actually made a get ready with me of that look, so I'll make sure to link that up in the cards. Um, yeah, I think that's what I've been doing the most. Um, oh, and I've been using George and Wheezy in my inner corner, which I am wearing right now as well. And that is just a really nice and bright goldish color, which I really like um, to wear in my inner corner. And... I've been sometimes applying my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk underneath just to make it pop even a little bit more. I think that is basically it. So what I want to do for next month is definitely focus on Boy Toy a fair bit more. Um, see if I can get a nice dip in it. Possibly hit pan, but considering how long it took me on Glamazon, I'm not really expecting to hit pan on it. Um, I think I'm going to move over to this pinky shade as my brow bone highlight for this month because I just want to see some more pan in this palette and I know now that if I use a color like this for about a month I should be able to hit pan on it so we're gonna try. I'm gonna keep using this in my inner corner but because I only use so little I'm not really expecting to hit pan on this anytime soon and well basically I really want to have a better dip showing in this purplish brown color by next time but it's moving so slowly so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to do that but yeah those are my goals for next time and this is the progress that i've been making pretty happy about um the four pans that i'm seeing right now because this seems to be moving moving pretty slowly but 
I don't know, I've got four pens showing at least, I feel like I've made some proper progress. So that is the eyeshadows. Now, of course, I've got that blush and bronzer as well. And I've been using the blush a little bit, but I don't think you guys will really be able to see that. The bronzer, I haven't really touched yet. Um, I only just finished up my other bronzer in one of my projects. So I think I'm gonna try and use it a little bit more, but because of all the pink on the side over here, I'm not too sure how I'm gonna make that work as a bronzer. I'm not sure whether I can wear this one and the blush at the same time. I feel like I just kind of have to apply this as a blush. But if you guys have any ideas for that, do let me know because I can use any suggestions for how to use that properly. And that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you like following along. Um, I've got my next update on this one in a little bit less than a month at this point because I'm filming this a little bit late. But I hope to see you then and I hope to see you in any other of my videos as well. Thank you guys very much for watching and bye bye.